My name is Charlie Curtis Beard. I'm a senior representing Lincoln High School. You know? My hand's purpose of existence is to express the intimate feelings from me and transfer them to you. In August 2013, I fell for you so hard. Maybe it's because we were never Facebook official or maybe because the memory of you slipping away is so dang similar to your hair sliding between my fingers. See, I never wanted you to go September 2013. I freaking hate love poems. I always hated the fact that people attempted to love someone more than they loved themselves, and that didn't change when I met you. That changed when I lost you October 2013. I freaking hate love poems. But I might write one about you. Just so you look at me differently, take my open vulnerability and snatch me back in your premises as fast as our relationship ended. See, I freaking hate love poems, but I'd write one about our history. Screw intertwined fingers, we intertwine dreams into twisted fantasies. November 2013, I promise to God you will live to regret this. I freaking hate love poems. Yet I keep writing them about you. December 2013, I wrote a love poem, but it kind of sucked because it wasn't really a love poem. It was more like me replaying and rephrasing words you would say to me to a nonstop end. Like, honestly, I think it'd be better if we remain friends. Honestly, I think it'd be better if we remain friends. Honestly, I think it'd be better if we remain distant. You can't fix this. Open jealousy, contradictions, and predicaments. It was about tiptoeing around the fact that I never treated you like you deserve. But that's because I don't think any man could treat you like you deserve. But if it had to be someone, it'd have to be me. It has to be me. It has to be January 2014. Around 5.30 p.m., you belched his name at the dinner table. Don't you have any goddamn manners? See, you wrote a love poem, but it wasn't about me. No, it was more like me sitting around, imagining him doing things with you that we were supposed to do together. I bet his hands feel so familiar. I bet if I were to shake his hand, I could feel all my feelings for you from him. And it feels like you're taking pity on me. Redirect your sympathy. I don't need empathy. We can learn to hate each other, but live in the present like we're dying tomorrow. And if we're dying tomorrow, I'd use these hands to grab on you today. So today, you can feel my feelings for you will last for eternity. And we'd be in eternity talking about infinity, transferring intimacy, clenching onto almighty, imagining false past like it was a part of our history. And we'd be doing things that contradict what you said to me, but a part of me would die because it still kind of hurts to be around you. I heard you love God now. I heard you love God. Now, if that's true, do me a favor and send him a prayer for me. Tell him I'm ready to get over you. No, tell him that I need to get over you. See, I do it myself, but I use my hands in affinity, expressing the intimate feelings from me and transferring them to you. Today, I freaking hate love poems but I might write one about you.